one thing that I want to hop into is kind of um, like toxic masculinity. I kind of think that that's going to be something um, that we should probably dive into, especially with all like the deal, the dear girl stuff going on and <laughs> everything else with like the, cr the crisis of manhood and everything with uh, the world changing. I think um, I remember hearing about how that's like really important and how a lot of men feel really lost when it comes to their personal identity because masculinity, femininity, all those sorts of things. And uh, the idea of, of, the, uh, of the like uh, ideal man to a, uh, uh, to the guy who's thinking of it is um so different to so many different people and um and um identity in and of itself is extremely important to like um, basically everyone i mean like you we know like how how bad it hurt like when we're in like i don't know elementary school or something to be called gay or whatever you know just or like like I, f I fucked your mom, <laughs> like like stuff like that, like you like you've taken something from them, like uh, you've crisis against their masculinity. Uh, they're you know attacking them uh, through their masculinity is like something that's extremely harsh. Or you know being called gay, or being called a woman, that too, or late like a f a feminine is extremely uh, hard um thing to uh, a thing to be you know extremely hard thing to be accused of i mean like some straight guys even like threaten to attack like other gay men or something like threaten to fight with like uh, like a gay men or something because i don't know they're like around them while gay it's really weird um and i think that really stems from how masculinity like uh, uh, throughout history has been um especially especially recent history has been like so rigid you know, so hegemonic and rigid, you know, big, 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 strong man, mass, big, big, mu masculine muscle, um, pick up, uh, pick up a small woman by, um, by her hair. And she, and she moans as you lift her in, into the air and you drop her on your, your fat man cock, you know, um, you know, <laughs> you know, shit like that, you know, and not all, and not all guys will, will ever fit that sort of, um, uh, idea and it's really really interesting how a lot of guys will um, judge judge themselves based on the um opinion of other men while also talking about how you shouldn't let um uh, society control you because you're you're a man and you go your own way you know i need to i hope i'm getting a couple chests this um eh. i kind of want to just break it yeah i want to pick up some junk when you pick up junk, when you have sir, hey, get out of here, you fiend, you rep scallion. He took my stuff. When you have a, when you pick up junk, when you have Sir Junkin, um, he gets m more upgraded. I think the max is like six or something. Yeah, pick up some. Yeah, pickup truck, Home Depot. Um, my hands look like this, so her hands look like that. Um, sort of like you know, just garbage, dude. But I mean, I don't want to say it's garbage because. As long as it's not like damaging to yourself, and I think a lot of masculinity, like, is um, being a lot of being extremely emotionally unavailable, and everything. That's fine. And I think a lot of people misconstrued being, um, uh, being like m uh, more connected with your like feelings and able to like express uh, your, your your thoughts and how you're feeling, with being like overly emotional and weak. And th oh wow, I that one he just hit me from downtown with that one. And those two things are very different. You can be connected with your emotions and um not feel like you have to hide them or anything or uh, uh conceal them or push them down because i don't know like your manhood relies on it or other people like need you so you have to suffer so they don't um the selflessness and the altruism is cool and all but um to an extent it, it's not it's not very good and i think the like the crisis of um of manhood really stems from how I, 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 was, I was getting at it, but I, I, I lost my train of thought of how like femininity has like changed so much um, over the last like 50 years or whatever, even like 100 years back uh, back when back when we had like the flippers and everything back during like the roaring 20s and everything. Those women who are like more more like scandalous and everything with the short with like the short bob hair, the uh, Marilyn Monroe types. That wasn't necessarily like the peak, like uh, the peak, like ideal femininity back then. It was still like long, long dress, take, be at home, take care of the kids, be very modest. That sort of uh, that sort of thing. And we haven't really gotten that with um 
uh, with with masculinity it hasn't really changed much. Um, and because of that, I feel like a lot of men feel lost when they don't feel like they uh, fit into the like idea of masculinity that's kind of been like fed to them uh, um, in society. And that makes them feel very lost. I mean, uh, your identity is basically all you have. It's tied to your basic humanity. That's why we say like um, misgendering trans people and everything kind of is like pretty bad. I mean, yeah, that's how you feel. That's how a lot of guys feel. Don't feel don't feel alone. Um one thing that really the one thing that i found to be really cool um was this one movie i don't watch movies very much but i was i saw this really nice um um i i found this really nice uh um video about fantastic beasts and where to find them uh What's the video called? Now, here we go. I found the video. So it's um the fantastic masculinity of Newt uh, Scamander. And this is a video about how... Um, I'm surprised I didn't like it. It's a really good video. This is a video about how um, Newt is masculine, but in his own way. Not in a very traditional way. Um, not in the, the traditional like sort of ideal of masculinity. He's... um. He's connected with his emotions. He's not like the the center. He's not the center of anything. He's like just kind of doing his own thing, um, in the way he likes it. He's like not. He's not like Harry Potter. He's not like Potter where he's like the center of the center of the world and everything that he does has some sort of um a drastic uh, effect on the world. He's just doing his own thing as him, um, in his own world. You know, and um and because of that. He's, you know, he's he's a good hearted, simple, non uh, nondescript. That's sort of crazy. He's uh, he's going to be the centerpiece in uh, four or five movie films. Yeah, he's not like he's not like the centerpiece type of guy. And I think like ninety nine percent of guys just aren't the centerpiece type of guy. Well, they're all sort of like taught to be sort of this like type of guy who's supposed to be uh, to the f fight, fight for that role like a leader. You know, not all guys are a leader and that's that's fine. Not everybody can be a leader. Not everybody can be a business owner. You know, everybody needs customers. Um. He's like he's caring. He cares about things, but not in but not he's not like super um, uh, like sensitive. He's uh, he under he's um, connected with his emotions. He's sensitive to how other people and how other things feel, but not in a way that compromises his ability to um, effectively make meaningful decisions and uh, make hard decisions as well. And I think that's really um, I think that's extremely cool how they how they uh, displayed his character in a way that makes him that uh, in a way that's masculine, but not um not overbearing in the way that uh we see a lot of masculinity um portrayed it's very good it's very uh it's a very good um very good example to set for a lot of young men i think so i think so at least Cause we need uh, we need both sides of this uh, bimodal distribution of uh, masculinity and femininity. I think um, a lot of a lot of people uh, like essentialize the left's position when it comes to masculinity. I did a video the other day. It was um, it's actually actually interesting. We'll check it out. You really should. It's it's a great. It's a really good video. Um, I did a video on this the other day. Let me see if I can pull it up. You'll see a lot of Ghost of Tsushima in here because I've been watching a lot of Ghost of Tsushima. Um, let me see if I can pull it up. It was a guy um, fear mongering about cat uh, about like femboy gulags. Unironically, he was he was fear mongering about femboy gulags. Um, can I find it? <laughs> Don't look at that. Don't look at that. Okay. Where is this video? Here it is. The left wants to turn men into femboys. The left wants to turn all men into femboys. Oh. Yeah. So you you can get the you can get the gist of what type of terrible video this is. So um, this is basically a video about how like he you know what's really sad about this video is that he's kind of on like the right path, and when I say that I mean there is uh there there are like um like institutions and everything that don't like cater towards how like boys usually act and um 
push them to be not necessarily more feminine, but like it's, it's like the idea if oh, if you were more like her, you'd be doing so much better. Um, and sort of not treating and not like catering towards like masculinity and seeing seeing it as and um, the way. Oh, my gosh, that it just exploded on me um, the way like uh, young boys um, express their masculinity as not being very helpful um, in, in like in like school and they don't foster like um, a healthy relationship with uh, with with young boys and their masculinity. I took way too much damage that fight. I was thinking too hard. Oh, wow. I got a lot of hearts. So, I mean, it doesn't necessarily matter, I guess. But, um, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's eating my boy. Uh. But, like, to say the left wants to turn all men into femboys is absolutely wrong. He even had the idea that, like, he just won't die. This guy just won't die. What the heck is that? Oh, this. Oh, he gave me the, uh, the particulator and the, what's this gun called? I forget. It's the Mario gun. Boop. The brick breaker, yeah. Boop. Look, a green shell. Um, like the left wants to turn all men into femboys, and they think like masculinity in and of itself is bad, which it isn't. It's okay to be. It's it's okay to be a guy. It's okay to be masculine. Not only is it okay, I think it's great. You know, there are just some problems we have with masculinity because it hasn't been reformed, um, like femininity has. Because people usually care more about like women's problems than than men's problems. I think that's a hundred percent true. That there's lots of men's problems that kind of go under the radar and like uncatered to, because people you know people are more sensitive towards women. Which I mean you know they're the they've basically been a marginalized community in this country for a while. You know the whole not being able to vote thing, kind of like being property like legal rape thing. That wasn't that's not necessarily cool, but that doesn't that's not an excuse to um uh, to like leave off to to let go of um men's um men's issues as well because we're we're important just like women men and women are vitally important to society the laminate configurum is like good but i think i'm going to leave it should we open this brown chest i haven't opened a brown chest in a while let's do it um that was a mistake So yeah, that's what I'm. That's that's what I gotta say on like masculinity, you know, um, and like a in men's relationship with the masculinity. That, that's uh, that's that's what I got. You know, men's suicide rate real bad, real bad. We need to do something about that. If guys don't, it's so hard for guys to like make friends. I feel like guys are so <laughs> it's so awkward when it comes to like making friends. We're so bad at making friends, and we don't have friend groups like women have friend groups. It's a crisis of identity, and identity is extremely important. To all people. How do you approach lost identity? Now that's that's a real that's a real big question. Um, I I think it would probably have to start with abandoning the ideas of like societal norm societal norms, you know. It may even have to start with women. I know it's been helping. I remember I read a study about how women's idea of like the ideal man and um, what they how they want like straight women and how they want their man to be masculine has changed um, over time, like quite drastically. And um, you'll see like a lot of you see like a lot of like reactionary YouTubers and everything call this like w women just want to make men women and they just want girlfriends now instead of like ma big, strong, fat cock, masculine men. Which isn't true. They still want masculine men, but the traits that they're looking for when they're thinking of masculinity have changed. Um, the like the altruistic, um, a sort of um, a caring, but more like connected with oh no, connected with their um, like emotions. Not emotionally unavailable and not like overly emotional either. There's like a healthy balance there for everyone. That and also um, I keep getting hit. I keep getting hit by these stray bullets for literally no reason. Um. And also, like, self-care is, like, way up there now. Like, being able to care for yourself and having a healthy mental state is way up there for women when it comes to what they're looking for in men. Um, since, me since femininity has already been reformed, like, we can have, like, you know, we can have, like, tomboys, but, you know, 
tomboys and those girls are still considered just like real women but femboys aren't necessarily considered real men and i'm not saying that you should be a femboy and i'm not saying that you shouldn't that's a that's a that's a choice that you uh that you have between you and yourself okay that's i am in no place to speak on whether that's right or wrong all <laughs> right um but uh with with that being said uh that like broad that broad spectrum um instead of being a binary you're a man or you're not um, is very beneficial to women, so they always have a play. They always have a home in femininity that men don't have. Starting to feel like femboy Joker right now. Don't worry about it. It's okay. Listen, if you really feel like femboy Joker, we're going to. Ex uh oh no, he's swinging. Oh no, he's swinging and he's jammed. Somebody kill him. Why is this person still alive? I hate my life. Where? Where is he? Where's the? Where's the? Where's the man, sir? He's dead. Okay. Okay, that was that was getting a little spooky right there. <laughs> Starting to feel a little femboy. Yeah, the soy is taking over. You had some tofu recently, eh? You had some soylent recently, yeah? You know? But yeah, women always feel like they have a home in femininity that men don't. Um, and that's not okay. It's not okay. We need to give our boys a reason to. Uh, you should be. You should be happy. You should be proud to be a man. You should be proud to. Um, Bear your, bear your masculinity in the way that you see fit. That's a, that makes you happy, not anybody else. I don't know. Maybe the, um, maybe pushing to be less concerned about what, uh, what other people think of you, is one, is one big, is is one big thing. You know, one thing that. Oh no! Did you see that thing? He chucked it at me. One thing that I saw the other day. One thing that I saw the other day that was actually like really interesting was um You know those fishnet stockings that like women wear? You know, you know those um let me see if I can like pull it up without without getting like TOS. Yeah, like like these like something like this you know know what I'm saying like these you know um I saw I remember on Twitter I saw a dude he was wearing those but he was wearing them in a very like streetwear masculine way under a pair of ripped black jeans and they actually looked really they actually look pretty cool you know and I and I remember like back in the day that I feel like even if he like if that guy was like a little younger and he was at like high school or anything and he came to school looking like that, he'd he'd get the like are you gay like every walking through the walking through the uh, the uh, the school like through every period, you know? You know, why can why can women wear a bunch of um yeah, like mad respect to the dude. And he wore it well too. It looked really good. It actually looked really cool. He wore it under a pair of black uh black ripped jeans and it was like an all black outfit. It, it looked pretty cool. Um and like women would do it too. And like women have a role to play in this as well. Like there's still some like real backwards ass women who want who want their who want their like real prince charming. Like I'd take a like I'm taking a woman out for a date and I'd literally take a bullet for my lady. You know, not nah, bro. Nah, bro. I'm a I'm a see you in the hospital, okay? I'm a hey, listen, if if there's a I don't want to step into in between a man and his business. All right. If he's got a gun towards you, I mean, I'll I'll be the first one writing your eulogy, but I'm not sure about hopping in, <laughs> hopping in front of that bullet. You know, you, my the Lord told me not to take what belongs to someone else. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, but, <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know, but um, I, I don't know. Just, you know, there there's some real talk. There are real real toxic women out there who um perpetuate a real bad form oh my gosh i'm why am i using the particulator on these on these clowns i'll do it anyways who cares who's gonna stop me um who perpetuate some real bad uh ideas about masculinity and what men should be you know the woman who's like unironically like really worried about a dude who asked to split the at this asked to split the tab on like the first date or something I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if we trust women like that, boys. My kings. Welcome to the king's court. All right. 
I just I just want like all uh, like what what I really want is just like all guys to be comfortable in in masculinity. I I think um that's what I really want. Or I mean or in femininity if they feel like it. If that's your if you're like juking and jiving and you feel like you're gonna take a quick turn to the to the feminine camp, like Godspeed, chief. Like whatever, I don't care. Big PP, seven feet tall. It should be. The cock just got set. The cock just got ten feet taller. All right. Talking about men, talking about your feelings means your cock just got ten inches taller. Okay, that's all I'm saying. Don't be scared. Everybody's got problems. Why is it the wall? Why am I fighting the wall? Why does this game hate me, dude? I come back. I start playing this game again. I spent my hard-earned dollarinos on this game. And the first thing it does is throw the wall at me. Like I'm like I'm a, some sort of degenerate, dude. This is the first thing it does. Throw the wall at me. Why? Why? Ugh. Nope, nope, that's not gonna work. All right, there you go. I hate the wall. The wall is like, I don't know. You know what? I'd rather have the wall than have the pillars. I'd rather have the wall than have the kill pillars. I'm not gonna lie. The kill pillars are actually insane. They give me, I have nightmares about the kill pillars. I'm sorry, I do. Listen, the, the, the kill pillars keep me, the kill pillars keep me up at night. Memories of getting blasted, just getting rammed by the pillars. <gasps> Junk! Junk in shining armor. So yeah, that's um that's that's I guess that's my two cents on um masculinity and men, you know? It's very it's very important that um that all men feel comfortable as who they are. Wait, I got you. I need buy a key, buy the heart locket. Oh, 10,000 IQ play. What is that? Finger on the pulse? What? I got a synergy? Wait, what does it do? Wait a second, I have to fire around. What does it do? I'm not sure what this does. I got a synergy though. I mean, that's sick. Ammo. All right, boys, let's get out of here. So yeah, um, you're back. Your sad friend ended stream. Is he okay? What's his problem? Does he want to talk about it? Mental health is very important. When it comes to men, men don't men don't care take care enough uh, take enough time to take care of their uh, um their personal their personal mental health. It's personal. All right. Well, I hope he's able to get through it, or they. I hope they're able to get through it. You know, it's been a pretty bad time for a lot of people. Stay away from me. Don't touch me. You see that? Freaking rapscallion. That guy was about to put his hands on me. I was <laughs> I swear I have my finger on the on the trigger of a uh, of a twit longer, okay? Where is this guy? There you are. Wait, that's not the guy. This is the guy. That's the guy. He's dead. Not mental health is just bad. Yeah, it's it's um, with Corona and everything going on. Uh, I definitely feel that it's been a tough like last two years for me personally. So I definitely can understand. I definitely can understand um, uh, them them feeling bad. Let them let them know uh, I'm uh, I'm keeping them in my prayers, whether they uh, whether they uh, believe or not. He'd really like my support in his stream tomorrow. I jumped off the cliff. And like what? He wants me to like show it. Am I like doing like an event like 
like like am i like the make a wish foundation to him or something is he is like me rating mate rating his stream like the his final request what does that mean what does he even stream Okay, so let's get into politics. Okay, yes, please, please, Denver, give me a, uh, give me your, 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 your. Oh my gosh, look at them, look at them all, they're crazy. Give, give me your politics. What politics do you need, bud? What do you want to talk about? We've been talking about it a lot tonight. Gaming, well, gaming politics. You want to talk about like Anita Sarkeesian or something? Like what? What are you talking about? There are way too many enemies in here. This needs to stop. Okay, that's good. This is bad. There are more enemies now. Beat his ass. Beat his ass. Junkin, beat his ass. Junkin's crazy. This gets sad. What's this? What? Does he does politics? So what what type of politics does he do? Is he like a would I consider him cringe or pog? Is he weird champ? Would he be weird champ to me? No, he streams gaming. What games does he play? Oh no. Well, like I feel like for the majority of time, my, my most of my viewers would be like, I mean, obviously it's Twitch. I feel like, I don't know. What does he play? Oh my gosh, he's Wiggly Boy. I, I really just don't feel like there are enough people talking about like men's issues in a way that isn't like just blatantly misogynistic you know you know what i'm saying like there's just there just aren't like enough guys out there or like anybody there's like just not enough people out there talking about men's like issues in a way that isn't just like reactionary stupid women are the problem um guys guys are good anyways and they're making us feel bad for being men you know just like in a, in a really like not toxic way it's really sad how like a lot of guys um, like flex their masculinity in an extremely toxic way. Doesn't even like help, you know. Like even in the have you the, like a good like allegory I can think of is like the incel forms. You know, if anybody has like cr like crawled through an incel form in their day, we'll see like the saddest the saddest human beings that you've ever known in your entire life, just like all talking about how they're not like good enough, they're not man enough, and they'll like basic and just like goading each other into killing themselves. You know. And like any like anything that would uh be considered bettering yourself is like cope, you know, because you're just fundamentally like genetically not not a good enough man to ever ever amount to anything that anyone would ever love. You know, it's just like it's just it's just a suicide cult. It is. It's literally just a suicide cult. 